Hey guys, welcome to another code solution. All right, guys, first things first, a lot of persons want to use external jars in their um, Android Studios application, especially if you're using Android Studio 1.5.1. 1. It's not so easy and straightforward. So guess what, if you, you don't have to go through a whole ton of tutorials in terms of how to do it, it's pretty simple. So in this, well, for this episode, we'll be using JSoup, which is an external um, jar, external library in our Android application. All right, so currently we are going to try to use some of the JSoup um functionalities we haven't included it as yet so all right download um documents sorry documents and i'm going to call my document doc and j dot soup if you notice you won't see it importing anything because we don't have j soup installed as yet so to install and get JSoup running in our Android project, we first have to go to our app. So we're in Android view. So we go to projects. All right. We go down. My my project is called JSoup. Sorry for the misleading stuff, but it's called JSoup. And we have to create a file. So we call this file. Um, click on directory, give it the name libs, that's L-I-B-S, okay, all right, we could actually go to file part and double click on where you put that folder, all right, it brings up our libs folder, so we just open it, it's going to be empty because there's nothing in it as yet, so minimize, and go to where you have the JSoup or your external jar located. If you don't have it yet, just go to jsoup.org and download it. Won't be downloading it now because you should have it already. So I'm going to go for mine. I have mine in my, my folder. So I'm just going to bring it up and copy it. That's jsoup. 1.83 jar and we go to our libs folder and we just paste it in there all right that's not the end yet so once we pasted it in there we simply go to file and we go to new and we go to new module click on new module and go to import jar or ARR package. So you just go to import jar and you click next and you click this button to the far right, which is a shift enter, just click on it. Then you look into your project folder, which would be our libs folder. That's where we put our jar file and you click on it and you click OK. All right, it should automatically choose its name and you just click finish. You're not done you're not done just yet. So after doing that, simply go back to your project. All right. Right click on it. Click on open module settings to add it to your build part and you just go over to your app. It's just going to say app then you go to dependencies, you click the green button and it says module dependency. Click on that. You have your external module selected, which would be JSOP. It should pop up. Click OK. Click OK again. It's going to say Gradle is starting to rebuild your application. Allow Gradle to rebuild it. And then just simply go over to this. You see it's still red. And you just try to press Alt and Enter. You should get an option 
see org.jsoup.nodes.document so it finds out what it is you click and you notice that your 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 library has been added so anyway let's write this back again j s o u p there it is coming up so that shows you that connect and let's just say um http colon slash slash www.google.com and get and when you when you're done this is supposed to work this will definitely work because you have now included it this is going to tell me to surround it with a try catch i've done that and pretty much guys that's how you get jsoup up and running in android studios it's as simple as that it's not stressing it is not difficult it's that simple thank you for watching please subscribe i try to make my tutorials as simple as possible no drama, just simple. Thank you.